Hi friends, in this session we will talk about non-linear correlation measures which identifies the relationship between the two random variables. We already know about the Pearson's correlation coefficient which indicates or which provides the linear correlation between the two random variables say x and y. x and y. If the correlation that is a Pearson's correlation coefficient between the x and y is zero this means there is zero correlation or there is no linear correlation between the two random variables but there is still possibility of some non-linear correlation. So here we will talk about two measures Pearson's correlation coefficient and Kendall's tau correlation coefficient which are the non-linear correlations measure. Right so first we will start with the basic illustration which we will use here. So here we have the return data of two assets A and B. It starts with minus 10, 15%, 30%, minus 20%, 20%, minus 12%, 8% and 16%. And first we will see the Spearman's correlation coefficient. In Spearman's correlation coefficient, the first step is to order the data. It is not necessary for the Spearman's correlation coefficient, but it is better if you order it. Okay, it is good habit to order the data in the first. Okay, so first we will order return of A. So we will start with the lowest values, which is minus 20%, then minus 10%, then 15% and 30% in this. Okay, so minus 20, minus 10, 15 and 30%. And then we will align this particular return of A with the return of B. Okay, like this. So for minus 20%, minus 20% return of B is 16% 16% for minus 10% return of B is 20% so 20% and then so on like minus 12% and 8% so just for this like minus uh, so 30% 30% of A is aligned with the 8% of B so this is step 1 start with the sorting of A lowest to highest lowest to highest and then align B with it. In exam, maybe you will get X and Y. And so you have to just sort with the one, any one. You can take Y or X or B or A. It doesn't matter. First sort one asset, one asset's return and then align the second asset's return to that. Now we will rank the, these returns from lowest to highest. So obviously because this is already sorted, so our ranks will be 1, 2, 3, 4. So lowest being minus 2% and highest being uh, 30%. So we will rank 30% as 4, right? So this is simple. 1, 2, 3 and 4. Here for the return of B, we have to sort. This is lowest 1, 2. See here, 1, 2. Then this is third and this is fourth. Okay. So this is the first step. This is the first step. Sorry, first step is starting and this is the second step. That is ranking of the data. Once you're done with the ranking, this section, like these two steps are common for both Spearman's correlation coefficient and Kendall's tau correlation coefficient. Then after these two steps, there is a difference between the calculation of Spearman's correlation and Kendall's tau correlation. So we will first start with the Spearman's now we are done with the ranking of A and B. Okay. Now you have to calculate the difference between the ranks. So that is 1 minus 3 is minus 2, 2 minus 4 is minus 2, 3 minus 1 is 2 and 4 minus 2 is 2. Now you have your rank differences and once you get your rank differences, Once you have your rank differences, now you have to square it. So if you square it, you will get 4, 4, 4, 4 and then sum total it, which is equal to 16. Now you have this formula, which you are supposed to use for the Spearman's correlation coefficient. That is 1 minus 6 into summation of di square, which is this particular value, 16, divided by n bracket n square minus 1. So we'll put the values. So we have total four observations here, right? So this is minus one, six into 16 divided by four observations, four multiplied by four square, that is n square minus one. And then you have to solve this. The answer is minus 0 
right? So this is a negative correlationship, non-linear correlationship of minus 0.60. So this is how you calculate this Spearman's correlation coefficient, pretty simple, straightforward. If you know the formula, you will be able to score it in the exam. And this is very favorite area of GAAP. So this particular section previously in 20, uh, before 2020, it was in the FRM part two. GAAP shifted this section, Spearman's correlation and Kendall South both in FRM part one after 2020 updates. And since then we are having these two sections, uh, these two sections in FRM part one. And previously when these sections were in the FRM part two, these sections were GAAP's favorite and still I assume, or I consider this is as a very favorite or um, favorite from the exam perspective, favorite section of GAAP. So you are more likely to get questions on both the areas, right? So we are done with the Spearman's correlation coefficient. Now we will see Kendall's tau correlation coefficient. Now Kendall's tau correlation coefficient works in slightly different manner. Here you have to first find out the concordant pairs between the correlation and discordant pairs. Concordant pairs and discordant pairs. First we will calculate concordant and discordant or find out these pairs and then I will uh, tell you like what type of question to expect in the exam on these areas or specifically in the Kendall style. Now again the steps are same. First you will sort A, align B with it, rank A, 1, 2, 3, 4, obviously, and then rank B, 1, 4, 3, 2. This part is exactly same. Now we will see what is concordant and what is discordant. You have to compare this with this and then this that is A's rank with the next rank, B's rank with the next rank and then like this. Okay. Let's start with the first. First we will compare these two ranks. Now here for rank A it is increasing and for rank B it is increasing. If both are increasing that is ranks A shift and ranks B shift both are increasing we call this pair as concordant pair. Okay so concordant pairs so we will write concordants here and discordants here. Okay now the first pair is coming from the comparison of this. So this is a concordant pair. And while writing down the pair, you have to write in this manner. That is X, Y, X, Y. That is A, B, A, B. In our example, we are taking A, B. So A, B, A, B. So we will write it as the so first pair is 1, 3 and 2, 4. Please remember, we are comparing this. But while writing the pair, we are writing sidewise. So 1, 3, that is X, Y, X, Y. This is the pair. If you want to say it in a formal manner, we say if x i is less than x j and y i is less than y j, we call this as concordant and if x i is greater than x j, that is this is x i, this is x j and similarly y and y j, okay. And y i is greater than y j, that is if both they have same signs, that is the movement is same, then we call this as concordant. If the opposite is true, like this, okay, so this is x i is less than x j and y is greater than y j and like this, then we call this as discordant pair. Okay, fine. Now we will compare the next pair. So next pair is 1, 3 and 3, 1. So compare 1 with 3 and 3 with 1. So 1 with 3, 1 with 3, it is increasing, but 3 with 1, it is decreasing, right? So this becomes a discordant pair because 1 is increasing, second is decreasing. We will write it in the discordant pair. And again, remember, you have to write the pair as 1, 3 and 3, 1. 1, 3, 3, 1. You got the discordant pair. Next, we will compare 1 with 4 and 3 with 2. So 1 with 4, it is increasing. 3 with 4, it is decreasing, right? So this is again discordant pair. 1, 3 and 
फोर टू ओके नेक्स्ट पेयर इज टू फोर एंड थ्री वन वी विल कंपेयर टू विथ थ्री फोर विथ वन अगेन डिस्कॉर्डेंट टू विथ थ्री इंक्रीजिंग फोर विथ वन डिक्रीजिंग टू फोर एंड थ्री वन नेक्स्ट पेयर टू फोर फोर टू डिक्रीजिंग वन इज इंक्रीजिंग वन इज डिक्रीजिंग सो अगेन डिस्कॉर्डेंट पेयर दिस इज टू फोर एंड फोर टू नेक्स्ट इज थ्री एंड फोर एंड वन एंड टू थ्री एंड फोर इंक्रीजिंग वन एंड टू इंक्रीजिंग दिस विल बिकम अ कॉनकॉर्डेंट पेयर थ्री वन फोर टू सो द रूल इज कंपेयर वर्टिकली राइट पेयर हॉरिजोंटली कंपेयर वर्टिकली एंड राइट हॉरिजोंटली दिस इज द एरिया वेर स्टूडेंट्स मेक मिस्टेक सो स्टूडेंट्स राइट दीज पेयर एज वेन दे आर कंपेयरिंग से वर्टिकली वन विथ टू वन विथ टू एंड थ्री विथ फोर दे विल राइट पेयर एज वन टू एंड थ्री फोर एंड दिस इज अ मिस्टेक सो वट टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन यू शुड एक्सपेक्ट फ्रॉम द गाप सो गाप माइट ask you in this particular manner like say this particular pair is missing and then gap will ask you to write down the last pair or gap might ask you to write down the first pair and then you have to select the right option for the pair if you get confused in writing the pair that is how to write the pair then you will make mistake because gap will provide you option like this gap will provide you say for the first example itself say assume like gap is asking you to write down the first pair only and if it is a discordant or concordant like this so then you are expected to write 1 2 and sorry 1 3 and 2 2 4 so this is say option a and gap will also provide you option 1 2 and 3 4 like this okay gap will also provide this option so don't make this mistake make sure you select proper or right um pair selection right So now you have concordant pair and discordant pairs. So you have to count down or count, not count down, the concordant pairs and discordant pairs. And the formula for the correlation is number of concordant pairs minus number of discordant pairs divided by n into n minus one divided by two. So here we have total number of concordant pairs two, discordant pairs four divided by four into four minus one divided by two, and if you solve this, you will get answer, which is let me check. I don't have answer ready here. So two minus four is minus two, minus two, and then three divided by or multiplied with four and then divided by two. Two, two, recall one divided by recall two, and answer is minus zero point three three three. Okay, so you have lesser quantity of correlation here. The quantum is less, but again the correlation is negative only. You can also visibly see here that the correlation is negative. So when the return of A is negative, B's return is positive. When A's return is negative, B's return is positive. When A's return is positive, B's return is negative. and that's what's making it is a negative correlation ship because both are moving in the opposite direction that's why you are seeing the negative correlation ship which is happening majority of the times there is only one instance where both are in the positive direction right so this is again you, you can visibly see gap might ask you to also calculate the correlation coefficient okay gap will provide you total number of concordant pair and discordant pair this is also possible it is highly unlikely that gap will provide you the complete this data of returns and then you have to rank it and then find the concordant or discordant pairs and then apply this formula this process becomes very lengthy so gap generally avoids asking full question on the kendall stone spearman's correlation coefficient gap's major focus is on the at least gap will provide the half of the table and then you have to process the further or gap will provide you total number of concordant and discordant pairs without giving you any information and then you have to simply use this formula and calculate the answer or gap will provide you this table and gap will ask you to provide the pairs say first two pairs or 
two concordant pairs which are available here so then you have to select the right option so that those type of questions are expected from the exam right so that's all about the kendall stern experiments correlation which are the non linear correlation measures of um, relationship between the two random variables so thank you for listening see you in the next video